Hey, what's up everyone? It's Migs from version 1 and today I'm going to show you guys again my Dragonautic Extreme version 1 linear drive rotary machine. Now, I already showed you this before. This is my one year later videos. So basically I've used this machine for a good year now. Um, and it's still kicking and it's still working and it's still doing the job. Basically, it's an awesome machine and you guys should really consider buying it. Especially if you're starting out. It's at the low price of 3500 so you can't go wrong. That's 3500 pesos. In dollars, you can probably get it for like 50 bucks, which is even cheaper than 3500 pesos. Anyway, uh, you can get this machine in Amazon and in the Philippines if you're interested. There's a Dragonhawk Philippines supply store. I'll leave a link below so you guys can check it out there and you can order all your rotaries and all your tattoo needs there if you're in interested in like Dragon Hawk brands. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys a couple of quick clips maybe, I don't know, throughout the video maybe I'll put a couple of them. Now I just want to talk about some pros and cons if you will. So. One con that I noticed with this machine is it's a little louder than most. It's not as quiet as it can be, but yeah, it's still okay if you're gonna draw back noise over performance, it's still good. Another thing is I had a red one before. Um, I showed it in a previous video, but anyway, that red one, I actually dropped it after maybe using it for two months. Yeah. You drop machines, it happens sometimes. Uh, when it does, it sucks. But anyway, I dropped it and it messed up the motor somehow. And what happened is, when I would use the machine, it would still run, but then like it wouldn't spring backwards like on its own like this. Um, like it would get stuck if I didn't run it with the with the clip cord and the power supply plugged into it. Um, and it would overheat really quick. So I think it was like a motor issue. And I didn't anymore like try to ship it back to the States because that's where I bought it from Amazon. Um, so I just bought another one and it's still working fine right now. I actually did drop this one too by accident. Um, but it's still working. So I guess it was just like a weaker machine maybe, I don't know. One of the best things about this machine is its ability to shade and to shade really fast and really cleanly. Now, a lot of it is with your technique as well, but this thing can pack a lot of color really fast and a lot of black, but you see it more with color, I don't know why. But it packs a lot of color really fast. It can do black and gray shading. Um, but then again, like there are other machines that does black and gray shading better than this one, which is the V2. Uh, it has a better control because you can adjust the stroke. This one, it's fixed to 3.5 millimeters. So if you're gonna use this machine to color pack, at least for my style, I only put it to about 7 maximum. I don't go any higher than 7 volts, that's the max. If you want to do some blending, put it to 6, maybe even 5.5. Now if you want to use black and gray with this machine, you have to drop it to about 5.5, maybe even 5 if you're doing like soft blends. And then if you're gonna do like the darker parts, you can up it all the way to 6. And you gotta work slowly, don't work too fast. Right, take your time with your tattoos and it will look better in the long run. Especially with rotaries because there's less resistance. Uh, basically, it's like, it's, it's like a trauma type machine if it's a rotary machine. It just pushes the needle in and the skin has almost no resistance to it. Because it's a motor that's spinning it, not magnets and whatever. Like coils. It's hands down one of my favorite machines to use, especially since I specialize in neo-traditional stuff. 
I do not use it to line, but you can use it to line. If you're going to use it as a liner, um, you might have to be careful with how deep or how strong you're pressing down. Because it is a 3.5 millimeter stroke, you might be able to compensate by moving the, the tip a little bit more forward. But then again, whatever, you'll figure it out. Uh, just a quick suggestion, I don't think you should line above 7 volts, maybe maximum 8. That might be pushing it a little too much, but yeah, maybe about 7 to be safe so you don't cut somebody. Alright, so one year later, I love it. It's still working, it's still running. I plan to use it for other tattoos that I'm going to be doing after this lockdown. I already have some lined up and I'll see you guys next time. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that like. Comment below, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Hit that bell and I'll see you guys next time.